This house is about to get a whole lot smarter. This is the Koo Geek Smart Plug for Apple HomeKit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and admit it. This is the first Apple HomeKit device I have ever looked at, so you're gonna have to bear with me on this one. I don't use an iPhone as my daily driver device, but I do generally keep one in my pocket as a backup device. So when Kugi reached out to me about this, I said I would definitely give it a shot. This is their Smart Plug P1. You can control this Smart Plug from anywhere using your smartphone, specifically mentioning lamps, fans, humidifiers, and more, but you could technically use it to power on and off your router at specific times of day. You could use it to turn on and off lights in a studio, like I probably will do, but you can see here on the side, you can use your voice to control it using Siri. You can control it from anywhere with your phone, as I said. Use schedules and timers to automate it and show your energy consumption or your electricity cost. Hopefully that'll be configurable because energy costs vary wildly and Kentucky is actually one of the cheapest places in the entire country in terms of energy usage. Fun fact. But inside of the box, we start off with a manual. Got a little quick start guide in here, an overview about the plug. It has a button on it, it has a power and Wi-Fi status indicator. On here it mentions the electrical ratings, rated for 120 volts, 15 amps, 1800 watts. So a pretty decent amount, realistically speaking. Next up in the box, of course, you have the plug itself, the smart plug, which has a button here on top, a little unique identifier on the bottom, which I'm not gonna show. And it shows MAC address and serial number and everything on the back. So I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. However, again, down here at the bottom, you have all of those ratings and everything. It mentions indoor dry location use only. And other than that, the box is empty. Very quick, very painless. Let's get this thing set up. The quick start guide mentions that it should be plugged into an outlet. The LED will start blinking. Make sure your iPhone is connected to your preferred Wi-Fi network, download the free Kugeek Home app from the App Store, log in or sign up for a free account, tap add device, when prompted scan the setup code or manually enter it, and you can assign a name to your device, set up customized scenes to control things with a single command, you can assign the I'm going to bed command to turn off the lights and turn on the fan, and when you speak I'm going to bed, Siri, everything is done. So that's pretty cool. Now I've just got to figure out how to get all of my lights plugged into this one thing so I can say Siri turn on my studio lights, because that would be really cool. So it's actually a little bit darker in here at the moment, but I just wanted to sort of prove a point. I've gone ahead and set it up, plugged in my ring light that I have here around the camera, just as a jumping off point. And now from a push of a button, I can just tap here in the app and turn the lights on. So now it looks a little better. I can tap to turn it right back off. If I go inside of the section of the app where this is actually located, it's got timer settings. It's got the ability to check the current power in use. When I had this turned on, it actually maxed out at about seven watts, but it's nice to be able to check that and see over time. You can see your power consumption, very cool. But what's even nicer, because it gave me the opportunity to actually set up the name of my location, and the name of the actual plug, now I can actually go ahead and say, Hey Siri, turn on the studio lights in my office. Okay, the studio lights is on. That's really cool. And then I can say it again, studio lights off in my office. Okay, the studio lights is off. There you go. And I didn't really have to do any additional setup to that. It just kind of works. Hey Siri. Studio lights on in my office. Okay, the studio so lights easy. Is on. And the setup process was basically pretty quick and easy. I just had to put in my email address, find the plug, add it to my Wi-Fi network, and give it this little code that I've got in the manual and that's actually on the plug itself. And other than that, because it's being done from an Apple device, it just sort of worked. So cannot complain in the slightest. This plug is currently available for 35 bucks over on Amazon. I've looked at a lot of smart plugs and basically most of them start in about that range. So this is really not out of the ballpark. And to have one that I can control from my phone just by saying, hey Siri, Turn off the studio lights in my office. Okay, the studio lights is off. That's so easy, that's so cool, when Siri works appropriately. Combine the voice actions with scheduling, and of course it is just a plug, so you've got the ability to put a whole surge protector on it as long as you're within reason there. Really cool option there. Bit of a minor update during editing this video. As I mentioned earlier, this is the first Apple HomeKit product that I've used. And as such, I was completely unaware of the fact that when you are away, when you're not at home, you can't actually use it. Unless you have an Apple TV, a very specific version of Apple TV and an iOS device of a certain generation. I do not own an Apple TV, so while I'm out and on the go, I cannot use this. I'll try to remember to put a link down below to the Apple support page where they talk about that. You have to have an Apple TV device. It sort of acts as a gateway, a bridge between Apple and your home to make the home kit work. Bit unfortunate and it does make it a lot less useful in my opinion, but it does still work. And the grand majority of the time when I'm using it for what I'm planning to use it for, controlling my studio and my lighting setup, I'm gonna be at home when I'm controlling that anyway. Just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there for total transparency. And I think that's actually where it's gonna wrap up for today. I'll put a link to where you can find this down in the video description if you're interested. Leave a thumbs up down below if you like this video. Subscribe to receive more when they become available and I will see you again next time. Hey Siri.
Turn the studio lights off in my office. Okay, the studio lights is off.